Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me on the channel today. I just want to share with you probably the easiest and cheapest way to get into the game of Warhammer 40k skirmish game, Kill Team. Now if you enjoy the content, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, join the growing community here, and let me know that you do like this content. But without further ado, let's dive on in. Let me tell you that it's not the Kill Team starter set you should be buying, but rather take a look at the Recruit Edition, which is half the price and got a lot of free rules to get started with Kill Team. Now, the Recruit Edition is a fantastic place to get started for a war game, but also for the skirmish game at Kill Team. It has everything we need in it as far as models, it gives you a game mat, which is the perfect size for Kill Team, dice, ruler, and a first piece of terrain just to get you started. That's what we're really focusing on here, but for $50, you can't really beat that. Now, if you are new to model building, I recommend you start with building the six Assault Intercessors. They're less spindly than the uh, Necrons themselves, and we'll be starting with the Lieutenant or your Sergeant or Leader on the smaller sprue. This character is great, and the thing is, is this is a push-fit kit, meaning that you don't need any glue or special tools outside of the snippers to get your model off the sprue. We're leaving behind the shield and the Necron head because we don't need it for this specific build. Now we're going to be pushing the model together, no glue required to actually make him into a nice, firm soldier for our kill team. Here he stands with a new Volkai pistol, tailored as a plasma pistol for the game, and a power sword. Solid combo in my opinion. Moving on to the rest of the team, it's time for us to build the five assault intercessors from the remaining sprue. Again, if you're brand new, utilize the Recruit Edition manual to teach you how to put these together, but we're just going to be building them as bog standard warriors with bolt pistols and chain swords. Now this should give us five assault intercessor warriors and then our leader to finish out our entire kill team. Pretty solid bunch if you ask me, and we're going to be utilizing the free rules of the Intercession Squad Kill Team that you can find in the link in the descriptions below the Games Workshop put out that are legal and friendly to use. It's a very strong team and great for beginners. Now if you want to have a grenadier part of your team, cut off these little cylinders, glue them together, and now you have a brand new layer of grenades for them. Now moving on to the Necron side of the box, these guys are still push fit so easy to build, and what we're going to be building is actually the Necron Tomb World team from the Kill Team Compendium. Now you can use the rules for the Recruit Edition to teach you how to build them, and yes, you have to be a little bit more careful just because some arms don't quite match up, but when you're taking a look at your Necron Warrior, which is your base troop unit from the game, this is the stat you can expect. They are a ranged fighter, not very kitted out to be close combat, they're a little bit slower because they are robotic and kind of undead to a degree. But you're going to build yourself five Necron Warriors, and the Tomb World rules require you to do five Necron Warriors, and then you can do another fire team, which we're going to be utilizing the Flayed One rules to do, so we have a ranged and a melee option. Now unfortunately, my camera and my footage failed on me, so I'm just going to explain to you the Flayed Ones themselves. The team consists of four Flayed One Warriors and one Flayed One Leader. These are the close combat specialists of the team, and they are solid for being able to outnumber the opponent, sit on objectives, but also still contest them ranged and in combat. The flayed ones are easy to build. You just chop off their arms. You can call it good at that if you want to. But if you want to go a little bit farther, add some sprue goo, and maybe get some of the different bayonets off the guns to act as their flayer claws, this just helps them stand out that much more compared to your Necron Warriors. But we're just be using the Warrior body, same bases, but just making a few extra tweaks to really make them into who they are. Feel free to use my images here to kind of give you a jumping off point on what to expect. And with that, for $50, you should have two full-blown teams, their rules, and a few extra peripherals just to utilize for the game. $50. And that is hard to do for just buying a single team of models. Now, you are missing one more thing, which don't worry, it is for free. It is the light rules for Kill Team. This three-page document can be downloaded from Warhammer Community's site. I'll have the link in the description down below. But if you guys are wanting to pick this up, I really recommend you do so, so you can actually play the rules to the game and get your toes wet. You know, jump in the water, have some fun with it, play a few games, and see if you still like the mechanics or not. Now, does this fully encompass everything like the fluff and little corner case stuff like what the core rulebook does for $50? No, but it gives you everything you need to learn how to set up a game, how to go through and actually play each phase and tell you about all the different things your models can do during the firefight phase and some of the weird extra little add-on rules that you'll find on weapons and statuses and abilities. 
And with that, that is the most budget way to get started into the game of Kill Team, giving you all the rules for your models, the game, and also giving you some different peripherals to help you get started. Now, hopefully this helped you out. One extra purchase I recommend you take a look at is the Kill Team's Essentials Kit. Despite the name, it's not fully essential with what you have in the box, but it does help your life a little bit easier with the rules itself. And you can build the super budget version of it, which I did before when I got started into the new edition, before I got gifted the Essentials Kit. And I can show you guys how to do that. I'll make a video on it if you want me to. Just let me know in the comments down below. But until the next time, you guys be good to yourselves. Have fun and enjoy your games of Kill Team and getting started with learning this awesome system in itself. Bye.